birthday celebration! Yeah. Oh my god, these cakes are incredible. Oh my god, Ken at the window, I'm dead. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a hardcore shoot day. I'm shooting all of the final B-roll for a bunch of the seven days of DIY bridal week series videos of the DIYs. I, I really need to like settle on a name. I think I just want to keep it simple and just do like seven days of DIY bride week or something. Seven, seven, no, that doesn't make sense. Seven days of DIY, oh, just so it'll be. <laughs> I really need to figure out a name and settle on it, um, but six out of seven of the DIYs are fully complete and I'm shooting the B-roll for three of them in this peer space, which you guys have seen before um, for some of the other bridal shoots. Honestly, it's just so good that I keep coming back. It's this one that has all of like the really pretty like Victorian ornate mirrors and it's just like the perfect vibe. So I also want to take some photos so I've got Jesse coming um, for an hour to shoot some photos um, just for like to intro the series. I'm gonna start shooting all of like the final product uh, videos and take the photos now. I've got shoes, veil, uh, some jewelry, and I think that's it. I'm feeling super inspired. I'm really excited for this series. I'm thinking about launching it on my birthday, August 11th. Um, I don't know if that's like not a good idea because it's a Friday and I feel like series launch on like Mondays. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. Um, but yeah, I'm like in cram super hardcore work mode right now because I'm going on a little birthday trip next week with Mia and Remy to Palm Springs. Mia and I's birthdays are 10 days apart. She's August 1st. I'm August 11th. And so we usually find a way to do something in like a joint celebration. And that is coming up next week. I'm so excited. Um, we'll definitely be vlogging. The house that we are staying in is so freaking cute. I'm so excited for the house tour. Um, but anyways, I've got a ton of stuff to do before then and um, shooting the finale of this series next week. I ordered all the supplies. It's gonna be one of the bigger projects I've taken on and I think it's gonna be, it'll be fun to document regardless and I think it's gonna turn out great. But anyways, shoot day today and I'm super excited. These look so freaking cute, just like in this environment. There's only so much that I can do with my aesthetic of my office, like, and I can do a lot, but these just look so much better here. Oh my gosh. Okay, DIY number one, B-roll, finished, complete. I'm debating on how much of like my actual foot I wanna put in <laughs> this like final B-roll, cause I'm like, ugh, everyone's gonna make it weird. Wiki feet, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna put them on though, because I do actually like, Obviously, want to show off like what they look like on your feet, um, but <laughs> why do people have to make feet so weird on the internet? Also, um, you'll hear the sound of the ACs just working overtime. Oh my god, it's not even, it's not even hooked up properly. Oh, this is like that's that's not the right size here. Anyways, the ACs are working overtime, so when you hear the audio, um, that's that's what that is in the background. <laughs> Oh my god, these look so freaking cute. Literally, like, I don't know why I get shocked every time a DIY kind of turns out and is like, okay. <laughs> but these look so good. I just took the final B-roll um, in the sun. They're like in the perfect spot where like the sun is like really high right now. And they look so pretty. So good. Oh God, baby's breath is kind of smells like ass, but honestly, it just looks so good no matter what you do with it. I really am not a floral designer at all. Like, what is like what is this mix? I truly don't know. But um, here's the final the final DIY. So you get to see this whole process. Um, obviously, when the videos all come out, but I'm really really happy with how this turned out. It looks so pretty in the sun. Wow, wow. 
Wow. Hello, good morning. It is finale day of the DIY bride week. Oh my god. Um, I don't know if you can see. I've got the starting arches that I just built of two horn arches right here. So they're not arranged properly how they normally would be, but it's like the um, asymmetrical arches um, that have florals built on them. So I've got a full day of chicken wire and uh, floral garlands and fake florals and floral foam and wire cutting ahead of me. And honestly, I'm really excited. This is the finale. I really want to challenge myself and do something that I've definitely never done before. So hopefully it turns out well because the intention is to only do this once. I ordered so many fake flowers and I just want to say that I think that this DIY would actually be much more affordable if you were to buy real flowers at wholesale price. Um, but obviously I don't, I'm, I like this is gonna, I'm probably gonna give this to someone or something afterwards. So I don't want to just buy a ton of florals and have it go to waste um, since I don't have anyone actively getting married in the next couple days. So anyways, I'm doing this with fake florals, but I think this would be a cheaper DIY if you were to do it wholesale. Um, but I'm so excited to try this. I really think that it's going to be totally doable and having no floral experience and definitely not being a florist of any kind and barely knowing how to match colors. Obviously, like I just choose all colors is how I match colors. Um, but I think, I think this is going to be good. I'm really, really excited. And I think it's the perfect finale DIY for the week of projects. So it's all being edited right now and I've decided on officially a birthday day launch. So August 11th, it's a Friday, um, in a week and a half or so. And I'm really excited for this to all come together. It's been so nice, like just DIYing all this whole entire week. Um, okay, so I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm able to see the behind the scenes, but I'm gonna mostly shoot this. I've just got my phone set up right here on a little mini tripod. Um, so I'm gonna shoot most of this just on my iPhone and, um, Hopefully next check-in, I'll be in good spirits, and hopefully things are going really well. My hands are already sore from um, making sure that all of like the nuts and bolts are really tight, and I just, <sighs> I've set aside the whole day. We've got a podcast tonight, so hopefully everything just goes really, really well. It's gonna, it's gonna look great. I'm gonna be in an amazing mood later for a podcast recording later tonight, and today is going to be perfect. It's gonna go great. It's gonna go great. I'm gonna sort of put it out there now. It's gonna go great. Checking in with a happy update. Things are going really well. They're going really well. It looks it looks really solid so far. It's going well. I'm so excited. It's been hours and my hands feel raw, um, but very pleased with the progress so far. Hello, I am sweating. I'm sweating and I'm done and it looks so good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. Uh, I started with just doing pinks and purples and blues, and I had yellows and oranges and white, and it was like, what's that TikTok where it's like, that's enough slices, that's enough slices, that's enough slices. Um, I feel like I had that moment where I didn't really know where to stop, because I feel like you literally could just continue to add so many flowers to this thing. The limit just doesn't exist. I'm sure it does, but I didn't find it. Here's what it looks like right now. I'm so obsessed. Oh my God. Oh God. So these are horn arches. I mentioned that. Honestly, I think it's like the blues that just bring everything together. Um, and I think the move also too was to invest in only a few of the expensive fake florals. So like this one and this one, I think there's only four of these total. I think maybe two or three of these ones. Um, only a couple of these ones as well too. Um, so most of these ones I was able to buy in bulk. Um, um, so it wasn't too crazy and then I just didn't do a ton of like the really nice expensive fake flowers because goddamn so expensive Anyways, it looks so good. I'm so obsessed. Oh my god. Oh my god I think I'm going to attempt to bring it outside So Jeremy brought me this little dolly here. So hopefully um, it goes well uh, I mean, it's pretty sturdy like it, it really is quite quite sturdy like I'm really I'm really giving her some some oomph I think if I was you know if my wedding was this weekend I would definitely add just like a weight at the bottom or behind it but they really are quite sturdy because like once you add this many flowers they get pretty weighty um 
But yeah, I think this also concludes my decision that, not concludes, confirms my decision that I want to have a decently colorful wedding. I feel like recently there were some influencer weddings that were absolutely stunning, but were pretty traditional with just like white and green florals. And I think... I think I, I think I just need color. I think I need color. And I think that's very me and I, yeah, I think that's the move. Anyways, um, I'm sweating, so I'm gonna stop perspiring and then try and transport these outside for some final B-roll. Birthday celebration! Yes! Oh my God, Remy lied, she lied. And she snuck up here before we got here. Corn's here. And there's birthday corn. balloons and corn's here <laughs> and corn's still here and, and there's corn and there's corn again and there's so birthday cool. banners I could cry I could cry Leo season oh my god these cakes are incredible also this is such an accurate representation of Mia and I's personalities Happy birthday, muscle mommy. Can I get a bicep? Ooh. Thank you so much. Great biceps. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then 30, flirty, and thriving. This is quite possibly the cutest cake I've ever seen. And a mimosa. Oh my god. I can't wait to give you a tour of this place. It is absolutely stunning. And Corn's here. Birthday Palm Springs trip is officially a go. It is officially in motion and I feel like my teeth are a little bit black. I've got like a weird lasting color cast from the cake. Um, we're saving my cake for uh, in a few days and we've got Mia's to eat now. There are few things better than a cake that actually tastes good but also looks incredible. I will pop her Instagram up on screen so you can go check out her cakes. I um, ordered myself a birthday cake as well in a similar uh, design that I'm gonna be picking up on my actual birthday next Friday that I'm so excited for so anyways the drive was incredible I haven't really spent much time in Palm Springs outside of Coachella and I have so many friends that have um, like rental homes here and I've always been like oh my god it's like crazy that you drive so far for your rental home but when it's not Coachella it doesn't take four hours and that is it was a wonderful surprise um, so tonight is night one and I want to give you guys a tour of the house before we start like moving fully in and it gets really messy um, So I'll show you the backyard now. It is stunning the way that I have described LA in the past couple weeks being as hot as Satan's asshole It is nothing compared to Palm Springs. Oh my god. It is literally I think 42 degrees Celsius and I don't know what that translates to like maybe 115 or so in Fahrenheit. It's so fucking hot Oh my god, I don't know how people exist in places like this and Arizona. It is crazy. So anyways, I'll give you a tour of the backyard and then some of the uh, living room and bedrooms. But um, the front side of the house, the living room is really dark right now. Just like where the sun is in relation to the windows. So I'll show you the rest of it tomorrow. But I will show you the backyard. This place is absolutely stunning. The house has an Instagram as well too. So I'll leave that linked in the description box. Um, obviously after we leave. But oh my god, this place is decorated it's like it's like anthropology just just took over okay we've got this section back here we'll definitely not be using the jacuzzi but love that it's there this is so cute we were thinking about getting some s'more stuff so might have to go back to the grocery store to get some of that what's over here oh oh okay this just wraps around the side of the house they've also got bikes that we can use here is the pool and like even just the stone wall and wood is so pretty oh my god ken at the window i'm dead <laughs> Oh, I miss Moose and Diggy. I'm so glad Ken's here though. So we've got this whole seating area here. This beautiful day bed. Also here is just like the pool. Oh God, this event is so hot on my feet. This table is gorgeous. We've got this wood pergola, some floaties. We also brought some other floaties to blow up. These chaise lounge chairs, all this space back here. Oh my God, beautiful. So pretty, so pretty floaties and pool so honestly it is so fucking hot that i'm pretty sure we're gonna get in now it's like almost 7 p.m and i'm pretty sure the plan currently is to get in the pool because oh my god okay bedroom number one i think this is the primary Ooh, so cute okay so this backs onto the pool these rugs are so pretty 
wow, this is absolutely stunning. I feel like I'm experiencing this at the same time as all of you, so this is loveless for us. We've got these beams up here. Oh, also love a ceiling fan. Things I never thought that I would miss from my childhood, my ceiling fan. Wow, this is like a trendy ceiling fan. Love it. Full closet, this bathroom. Let's see if I can find the light. Okay, there's a light. Hang on, there's gotta be more lights in here. Is that it? No, there's gotta be more. Pretty sold. Oh yeah, here we go. Hi, Ken, are you here for the tour? Okay, so we've got this little tub here. This goes around to, oh, what a cute shower. This bathroom, ornate elephant, shelves, clean, oh, wait, am I in the kitchen now? Oh, 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 okay, okay, I see, I, I was in here, okay, so here's the kitchen. <laughs> And this is, it's so cute. Like these countertops are absolutely stunning. I'll show you more of this um, space tomorrow when the lighting is better and we're on like the right side of the house. We did a giant grocery shop and Target trip. Um, so we are fully stocked on snacks and food. Okay, let me, I'm so confused on where I am in the house right now, please hold. Okay, I'm, I'm unlost. <laughs> We're in a hallway now and this opens up into this room, which is so cute. It's like Urban Outfitters meets Anthropology, I feel like. So we've got two double beds, um, Mia's bed, Ken's bed, and again, here's the pool. I just like, there's just no world where I personally know how to layer three different rugs and make it look good. This is another bathroom. What is this? Just a closet? Closet. A little get ready station. Ooh, love this vanity. And then a tub. Is this a toilet room? No, that's a closet. Is there no toilet in here? What the shit? Wait, what? Huh. Huh. Okay, <laughs> wait, what? Back here? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, I was like, there's no way. That makes no sense. Ooh, love this flooring. So cute. Ken, still here for the tour? Love that. Five stars, please. Okay, and then the other side of that hallway is this room, and this looks out to the front of the house. Here's the bed. There's my little suitcase. There's Corn with his. Wow! Wow! Um, very cute, we've got the beams. This bathroom is so cute. Shower, love. I'm gonna take some OnlyFans pics of Mia, not of myself. <laughs> Ken's like, yeah, mom. Mom, I'm gonna get it. And then a the little bathroom. The finishes and the fixtures, and like even this being an arch, like it's all just so stunning. Okay. That's it for the majority of the tour. I'll show you the um, two living rooms tomorrow when the lighting is better, but we've got the decor, the beaded decor going strong, and it's so exciting. I'm so happy to be here. Hello, good morning. It is day two, the first morning in Palm Springs. Had an excellent slumber. Oh my God, it was literally such a beautiful day. We went swimming. We did like a little 6 p.m. swim when the sun was like not as scorching. Uh, we did our target trip, we made dinner and watched some of the new season of Too Hot to Handle. Um, and we're about to start our day. So Mia and Remy just went to go grab uh, some, some, actually Mia forgot to get something at Target. So they're back at Target grabbing coffee and um, I just finished off the last voiceover for the um, DIY Brad Week series. That's officially, like it. my editor crushed it and knocked it out so quickly. So I'm gonna start posting them today. So anyways, that's, um, that's what I've been doing this morning is finishing off a little bit of work and now it is time for pool. I'm a little scared to go outside to be honest. I, um, I got new, okay, let me show you the sunscreens that I'm using because I feel like the amount of people who have texted me asking me if I'm okay because we chose to go to Palm Springs for our birthday trip in the middle of August is a little concerning. But here's a sunscreen that I've been using and has been working really well like for my skin and just like in general has been like peaceful, a peaceful integration into my life. Okay, body sunscreen. I've been using the Kula Classic 30 SPF Pina Colada. This smells so good and feels decent. I want to want to put sunscreen on and this makes me do that. For skin, I I've been using the Beauty of Josen. I feel like I'm pronouncing this wrong, but it's the matte sunstick. This is what it looks like. This has been incredible. 
oh my god my favorite face sunscreen that i've ever used and then before this trip i happened to get a tiktok of a girl who accidentally went to the beach wearing just aquaphor on her lips and they obviously swelled and got so incredibly sunburned so i've never used this before but review to come this is the super goop play lip balm with acai with 30 spf she looks like this. I'm a hoe for Aquaphor, and if I had not seen that TikTok, I for sure might have made that same mistake. So anyways, uh, we've got face, body, and lip sunscreen today. I've also got a hat to protect my scalp, and um, oh, the rest of the house tour. Now the lighting is better. Okay, here we go. Hi, corn. Welcome to the rest of the house tour, day two. Um, so it's starting to look lived in, obviously. We've got lots of pup toys and dog bowls and things happening as well, um, but here is the living room. So the pool is to my left, and so this is what it opens up to. We've got like actual living room. Again, so cute, like styled so beautifully. Over here, this rock fireplace, or what used to be a fireplace. It actually kind of looks like more of a pizza kitchen, to be honest. Like one of those stone pizza things. Anyways, absolutely stunning. This super cute day bed. I think there's the same one outside in the backyard. Um, this is where you would turn left to go to my room, right to go to Mia's room. And then this is the um, other sitting room where we walked in that Remy had spent the morning setting up all the birthday stuff for us. So we've still got all of the balloons. This green couch is so pretty. Ooh, so soft. The happy birthday. Oh, a real fireplace. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, wait, double, same same design, love it. Um, oh my God, everything is just styled so beautifully. All of like the beams on the ceiling. Here is the dining room um, and some of the floaties that Rem picked up yesterday at Target. Um, also, oh my God, look how cute this is. These aren't Legos, but I think they're knockoff Legos. Um, bricks, but they are Sanrio. And those are the three little um, characters that you build. I'm so excited. So I brought these for one of our just like chill movie nights to do. And then you go this way. Ken also here <laughs> just awkwardly following me around. Hi, corn. Oh, look at the nub. It's such a happy nub. It loops around over to the kitchen, which also is starting to look very lived in. I love this flooring. This is so cute. Um, we've got stove, the countertops, and that's that's it. That's the kitchen. We made very gourmet mac and cheese last night, um, and today will probably be along the same kind of uh, palettes and I cannot wait. I don't know if you can see on your side how dirty my sunglasses are, but I, I basically can't see out of these right now. Um, anyways, this concludes um, our joint birthday trip. I really didn't vlog much of it, to be honest, um, because we really didn't do much, to be honest. We powered through an entire season of the new season of Too Hot to Handle. Um, we did go for dinner with Caleb, Cameron, and Dan, um, the fitness marshal, and that was a great time. Um, did a little drag brunch posted those on snap and Instagram though if you want to see clips of um, I did see truly the most muscular drag queen I think I've ever seen ever do some crazy gymnastics so that was yesterday but for the most part we just hung out and chilled and had just like quality friend time hanging in the pool getting tan and just just doing not much to be honest and it was wonderful so we are about to head home and I feel like I have a to-do list that is quite long so I am excited to like get back at it which I feel like this is the perfect amount of days of just like rest and relaxation and I'm ready to throw myself back into work I also am genuinely so dumb and the DIY bride week series is going swimmingly I'm loving the feedback and I'm so glad that you are also enjoying it like truly am elated could not be happier um but i'm actually dumb and didn't properly count the days of posting so i oh i just broke a piece of cactus off with my body ram yeah i just broke a piece of cactus off oh that's with, okay with my body oh that's okay <laughs> She told me that the yard is like dying because okay. it's so hot. Yeah, she, I've never seen a cactus. It's cracked. I literally I brushed up against it and she was like, she was like, goodbye. I've literally never seen a cactus crack. I thought they literally didn't need water. I'll put her here. 
Maybe she'll propagate. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Um, anyways, what I was gonna say is that I am dumb. I did not count properly. I was like, oh, seven days in a week. That makes sense. If my birthday's on Friday, finale will be on Friday, and then I'll start posting on the Friday beforehand, and then that counts as seven days, and that that's actually eight days. That is eight days, and I'm stupid, and so now there's gonna be a break in between day six and seven, I think, because in the voiceover, I was like, happy finale day. Also, it's my birthday. Wahoo! And I didn't math that out quite well. Anyways, that's a problem for later on this week, and uh, time to head back to LA. Hello, it is a few days later back in LA and readjusting to regular work life. I just filmed a podcast over at um, Joe Volpis's house, um, the Lightweights podcast. So just got home from that, hence the hair and makeup. Um, also, I am going glass blowing tomorrow. I am so incredibly excited. Uh, this is gonna be a video for the main channel. So I know that the main channel has been a little sleepy lately outside of a bunch of shorts, um, but lots of new fun DIY content, like elevated DIY. Is, is it, is glass blowing DIY? Probably not even, I don't even know if that falls into DIY. Just general like full blown artist professions. So that's happening tomorrow. And then it is my birthday on Friday. So by the time you're watching this, I might be 30. Oh my God. What the fuck? Still processing. Don't feel 30. Anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. I am going to be shooting some behind the scenes content um, of the glass blowing tomorrow. So we'll definitely have the vlog camera. Um, I have a full production team with me tomorrow in terms of like video and audio. So I will have the vlog camera on hand and try to capture as much as possible because I think that video won't go up until September. So um, I'll try and get some snippets of the process tomorrow. I am so excited. So that's happening, turning 30 and I I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Bye guys.